What's up guys, it's CDK. This week's video is going to be short and sweet. I'll be showing you quick and useful ways to survive and recover after doing Marth's wall jump attack. Although I'll be talking about these strategies with Marth in mind, they're also useful to other characters. So even if you don't play Marth, I'd suggest sticking around. So let's start off with the obvious stuff. Wall teching while recovering is extremely helpful for every character since it gives you a second lease on life and keeps you from being knocked too far away from the stage. But if you hold up while wall teching, you'll end up doing a wall jump attack, which causes you to wall jump away from the stage. This happens to every character, even ones that can't wall jump normally. It's honestly not that big of a deal for most characters since they can usually just recover afterwards. But with characters like the Marios, the Lynx, and Marth, wall jump teching can make you pretty easy to edge guard if you don't recover properly. When you wall jump tech with these characters and try to up B at the end of the wall jump animation, you'll usually be too far away from the stage to recover successfully. And if you up B during the animation, you're still extremely vulnerable since you won't be able to sweet spot your recovery. One of the most important things to know about wall jumps is that you can act relatively quickly after wall jumping and wall jump teching. Taking advantage of this is how you can survive better after wall jump teching with Marth. One of the most common mistakes that Marth players make when recovering in this situation is that they try to side B back towards the stage after wall jumping. This does absolutely nothing to help you recover because you'll keep drifting away from the stage during the side B. Holding the analog stick towards the stage during the wall jump animation also doesn't help because it doesn't influence how far you drift away from the stage. The secret to surviving wall jump techs as Marth, or the Lynx, or the Marios, is to throw out an aerial during this animation. By doing that, you'll cancel the rest of the wall jump animation and you'll regain control of your aerial drift with your analog stick. This prevents you from drifting too far away from the stage and it also lets you throw out a quick counter attack after wall jump teching. The latter can be useful for most characters, not just the ones that I mentioned. With Marth, an instant back air is usually the go-to option after wall jumping because it can knock your opponent away from the ledge so that you can recover after. It also turns you around and you'll end up grabbing the ledge afterwards if you back air fast enough. One thing to keep in mind is that doing an instant aerial after teching only works if you wall jump tech. If you do a regular wall tech and throw out an aerial, you'll fall to your death and look really dumb. Air dodging towards the stage is another option you can do after wall jumping. If your opponent isn't expecting it, it can work really well. But it does leave you vulnerable if they're in position to react to it. So use your best judgment to decide when to do this. If you're truly insane, you can also wave land onto the stage after wall jumping. This is something that I never see people do, and I honestly don't know how useful it actually is, but it looks like something that can be good, especially if your opponent is caught off guard. And that's all for this tutorial. So yeah, Marth's got a pretty bad wall jump tech. But, if you react in aerial quickly enough, you can easily recover with it. In last week's Comet Wars, your picks for characters that are the most underdeveloped and have the most hidden potential are Yoshi, Luigi, Captain Falcon, Dr. Mario, and Donkey Kong. For this week's Comet Wars, which top player uses wall techs and wall jumps the best? Who do you think did the most hype wall tech or wall jump of all time? Feel free to post links to other videos in your comments. I want to get hype. That's all for this video. Thanks a bunch for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you next week.